Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get started on your message. Love reading. What is your love message? Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What is your love message? What's going on in your love life? The Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. Hmm. Very symbolic card when you see it in your spread. Then you have the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Then you have the Ace, the Eight of Swords. Wow. Then you have the Eight of Wands. I see this very clearly. I feel like someone is having to accept that a relationship won't work out. Yeah, they have to accept it. It's almost like they have to accept the truth because the truth has been revealed. The truth has been made very clear with the Ace of Swords. Um, this person doesn't know what to do. The Two of Pentacles, they're juggling the idea of what to do. The Eight of Swords being in that mental imprisonment. They don't want to see their lover go, you know. But their lover is going. Eight of Wands. Their lover could even be like physically moving away from them. Uh, justice. Their lover feels like they're doing what's right. Then you have the Hermit. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the Hermit. Their Hermit, their lover has really reflected on this. This is not a spontaneous decision to end the relationship. This is a well thought out decision. Their lover feels like this is the right thing to do. Their lover feels like they have to guard themselves and protect themselves. I feel like someone has literally chased the love of their life away. Yeah, that's just how it feels. Someone has chased the love of their life away. And they don't want to accept it. Four of Swords. Yeah, this is the love of their life. Like, this is someone who they think about constantly daydreaming, fantasizing. They can't get this person off their mind. They really want to be with this person. But <laughs> this connection has become so stressful with the Ten of Wands and too much to bear. Too much to bear. The Ace of Pentacles. The Two of Wands carrying out a plan, trying to get a sense of direction. You can't expect someone to stay with you if you're not treating them well, you know? Hmm. Their lover may even be in a place where... Seven of Cups, King of Cups... There's something that they're thinking about doing. They're carrying out a plan. They're thinking. Seven of Cups, weighing your options. Excuse me. Seven of Cups, weighing your options. Then you have the King of Cups that's here. They're thinking about how they can, I feel, profess their love, you know, to get their lover to change their mind. Because for now, their lover is rejecting them. Four of Cups. Mm-hmm. Four of Cups, Four of Wands. Yeah, they're not on good terms. Um, their lover used to commit, but not anymore. I feel like their lover is sort of rebelling as a way of standing their ground. So what happened here to push their lover away? What happened? Page of Cups. Ace of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Page of Cups is when you have an interest in a person, place, or thing. It could even it could even represent an admirer. You know, 
admiring someone. Ace of Wands, that passionate new beginning. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost like... Let me see. The Magician. It's almost like... There was some, this person likes to control things to go their way. They like to influence everything to go their way. Like they don't, they don't allow things to just naturally, unf uh, they don't allow things to just naturally unfold. Yeah. They don't allow things to just naturally unfold. Eight of Pentacles. They just, they don't allow things to naturally unfold. They're always, they, okay, so you know how the Eight of Pentacles work? They work on their relationship as if it's like a work assignment. Like they're always trying to do something to their lover. Like they can never just let things be. Love to them is like a work project. So there's that control element there that could have ruined this relationship. And why do they like to control things? Because it brings them victory, right? They want they want to win. They like to get their way. Yeah, and so they end up cheating. The 7 of swords. They like, you know, they like to kind of like cheat to get what they want. They like to manipulate and influence things. They feel like you don't know all that they've done. They feel like their lover doesn't know all that they've done. I feel like their lover knows, which is why their lover's like, let me get the heck out of here, you know? Let me get the heck away from this person. Love to this person is like a work project, a work assignment. They work too much on this connection instead of just allowing it to naturally flow, and it's because they like to win at all costs. So then they, they end up doing some sneaky things here, you know, to, to get their lover to do what they want. It's the control. It's the control issues. Death. It's the control issues that just ends up death, the chariot, that just, yeah. That's why the connection is ending. Mm. Yeah. So at the end of the day, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, okay, they're still trying to, Queen of Wands is someone who is very, this person still, this person still wants their lover so bad. Like all they can think about is reuniting with their lover. That's, look, strength. Like It's almost like their lover is their obsession at this point. I feel like this person is like wildly in love, but too, too wildly, too wildly. And it has caused a big tower moment, a big shakeup in this dynamic. I feel like this person doesn't want to spend one more day separate from their lover. They want to reunite with their lover. can't stand being away from their lover. They want to convince their lover that everything's fine and that the two of them can make it. Nine of Cups, Page of Wands. That everything's fine, that this person needs to change their behavior, you know? I do see their lover giving them a chance, another chance. I see them talking, Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords. I see them talking. 
I don't feel like these two are going to officially separate because I don't feel like I don't feel like they're gonna let their lover get away. <laughs> yeah, they're not eight of cups. They're not. They're gonna do everything in their power to prevent this cycle from closing out. Hence the world. They're gonna do everything in their power to get this person to choose them. The lovers, a choice. And so they're coming forward. They're just planning. They're just planning how to come forward to their lover and really make this right. Because they know once their lover, look, they're planning two of cups coming together because they know once their lover is gone, their lover is not looking back. Yeah. Like once their lover is gone, their lover is gone for good. That's what they know. Temperance. Knight of Cups, yeah. They want to apologize. Knight of Cups is all about making amends. They want peace and harmony here. Yeah, they want to move things forward. Six of Swords, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. This person's going to fight for their love. They're going to fight for their relationship. They're going to stand their ground and fight for their relationship. And I do see a reunion here. I feel like their lover loves them too, loves them a lot, but just couldn't bear the stress of this connection because this person just needs to relax, you know? They're too controlling, but it could be fear. Many times when a person has control issues is because they're fearful of something happening. Fearful of losing their lover, but then all of the things that they do out of fear ends up chasing their lover away. You know? Yeah. I think this person needs to reevaluate some things. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I do see a reunion, but things need to change so that there won't be another separation. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here, my beautiful people. I really hope that uh, this reading gives you some good clarity and confirmation. If you enjoyed the message, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. If you're interested in connecting with me more, I'll put all my information in the description box. You're welcome to visit my website. You can book a private reading with me. You can make a donation if you like to support the channel more. Um, you're welcome to join the intercessory prayer list as well. Take care, my beautiful people. Many blessings to you.